snacks, snacks. When's the snack boy gonna bring me my snacks? We've talked before about a particular artist from Baltimore named John Waters. We've discussed Pecker, the fact that he made polyester and pink flamingos. Well, today I'm gonna do something that's long, long, long overdue. Pink flamingos. Pink flamingos. I remember the first time I saw it like it was yesterday, but it wasn't yesterday. Carla Cole and I went down to the video store and we knew we wanted something different, something new, but we couldn't put our finger on it. What we did put our finger on was the box for pink flamingos. Pink flamingos to this day is A, the most shocking, B, one of the lowest budgets, C, most cleverly written, well-paced, and truly brilliant, hilarious dialogue of almost any video I've ever seen. I've, I've finally gotten to see it on the big screen with a, with a full audience, and it was just as wonderful, if not more so, and brilliant. And I have to tell you, in 1973, when John Waters and his group of ragtag crazies from Baltimore gathered together a little money and decided to put and commit John Waters' brilliant script for Pink Flamingos to a film, they did something for society. For your, for your life and for mine that was a beacon of light in the dark. If you are feeling a little, if you're in a very moral mood, don't rent it. If you're feeling like, you know, I want to watch something wholesome and Disney-esque, do not touch it. Pink Flamingos is a living, breathing, organic depravity, people. In no way am I trying to say that I am for some of the things that this movie is for, but I'm going to tell you what some of the things this movie is for. If you've never seen Pink Flamingos, you're in for some things your eyes will not believe they're seeing. It's not even rated R, people. You will see acts of violence so unrealistically portrayed that they will not affect you, but it's not the violence that gives Pink Flamingos its edge. No, it's the characters and what they do to each other and what they do to themselves. Oh, uh, for In one scene, Divine, the, the late great... Great, great divine, the brilliant divine, uh, a drag queen, fat, you probably know who divine is. Well, divine played um, Babs Johnson, the filthiest person in the world. In the film, she is the self-described filthiest person in the world, and she, she's got enemies, though. Raymond and Connie Marble. Connie and Raymond Marble are a married couple, and they themselves are so jealous because they want to be considered the filthiest people in the entire world. So they are going to have a contest, and they're going to try to frame Divine and make, make Babs Johnson look bad so they can win the title of filthiest person in the world. And Divine is not alone, though. Divine has a little family. She has a son named Crackers. She has a, she, she has a girl who lives with their, in their trailer named Lou Lane Cotton, and a mother who's my favorite favorite character in the movie, Divine's mother in the film, uh, Miss Edie, the egg lady, is played by none other than the brilliant, 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 brilliant Edith Morsey, who's now dead, unfortunately. She was great. She was a horrible actress, but so horrible that she transcended the material people. The woman was brilliant, and she cried out for eggs because she had a passion for them. Hard-boiled, scrambled, eggs, eggs, oh, God, oh, best eggs, please. She wanted her eggs, and she sat in a crib, and a baby's crib in the trailer crying up for eggs and in a beautiful heart-wrenching scene in the movie she married the man who delivered eggs to the trailer i love you egg man she said and i know what you're thinking smack boy did you sound like you're on crack what is this movie rent it rent pink flamingos it even has a talking ass well it doesn't talk but i mean it, it moves like a mouth it's disgusting it's the first time i saw it carla and i just covered our eyes and we've had so many pink flamingos parties where, where when i was living back home this is making me homesick from Pasadena, but where we would make our friends dress up like their favorite characters from the movie. And uh, it was, to this day, I, I can't even talk about that getting emotional. Rent it. But the first time you'll be shocked, but see it again. It's like, it, make it the Rocky Horror Picture Show among your friends. Give Pink Flamingos a chance, people. Let it live. And I want to leave you with these words. The girl can't help it. The girl can't help it. You'll know why I'm singing after the Pink Flamingos after you see it. Girl can't help it. A oh, girl can't help it. You walk down the street and do, 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 do. Can't help it. Go rent it. Uh... Rent it.